Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, let's continue where we left off. We are at war with Venice and hopefully we'll be able to take a city sometime soon. We'll see about that. But before we do anything else, we can actually sell coffee to Ram. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We could always use the gold. Can we sell the horses to anyone else still? I know Ram won't buy them. We don't need them for one building, but we could sell at least some of them. Yeah, I don't think anyone will buy them. Not anymore, at least. Oh, actually, yeah, he will buy them. Alright, let's get some gold per turn. Better than nothing. Anyway, now we can do some damage. We might be able to take out an ironclad. With artillery only. I think we can, yeah. We definitely can. It's going down. There we go. Other than that... Yeah, our turn is basically done already. Not much I can do here. Nope. We are done. Okay then, we got two submarines to use on the next turn. So that should be nice. And move this guy out of the way. And let's swap the explorer. Here, that will do. You need to repair. Alright, next. We are working on the Manhattan Project and we got uranium. Which means nukes are coming, definitely. We will need them. Against Austria especially. Probably not against Venice, but I suppose we'll see about that. Taking Venice would be nice because there's one Austrian city on the same island. But we'll see. We are not quite done with Venice. Oh, I think that cruiser is close enough for our submarines. Now, in Fox Populi they only have one tile range, but with Wolfpack they are still pretty damn strong. Yeah, we can attack. So let's do it like this. And then the other one. Yeah, the other one can also attack. Nice one. One down. And we got a promotion. That'll be broadside. And another promotion. Siege free. Right, monument is done. Next up, we should definitely grab a castle. And maybe a well first. And then a castle. And maybe send some units to that city. That would definitely be a good idea. We can probably pass on the third submarine. We can grab a circles. And we also need some trade route replacements. We can grab one here. And in Almaty. Sounds good to me. And the circles. Just in case we'll need it for happiness in the future. It's better to get it in advance. So first let's target the Ironclad. It will definitely go down. Yep, it's going down. Oh, it's not going down. Interesting. Well, alright. It's at like one health. Fine. What else? Do we want to use another repair fleet? We could... I think I will. I mean, we got so many. Might as well just use them, right? I see no reason not to do that. Let's just use them, it's fine. So, like this. I can't really use the other Ironclad right now, but I will be able to once we get rid of the Ironclad in the front. So, like this. And then we can move through if we want to. If we attack the cruiser, then we can still repair the ironclad. So, like that. And then we can use the admiral. Doesn't really matter which one. They both have two charges still. So, like this. Repair fleet, and now they are back to full. Okay, can we take out anything else? Maybe, maybe not. I still got some attacks left. We can do some damage to the other Ironclad. Let's maybe do that. And maybe to Mogadishu at this point. And perhaps the Gatling Gun. I can almost take out the Ironclad. I could take him out, actually. If I end my turn right here. With the Cruiser. 
that would be doable. Or at least it would be pretty damn close. It might not actually be enough damage. Okay, let's try that. It was enough damage, nice. Okay. And we still got two more cruisers. Technically, three more cruisers. But the last one is not close enough. We can attack the cavalry because that's a ranged unit. And then these guys. Yeah, attack the cavalry still. Down it goes. And probably the Gatling gun. Uh, actually, hold on. We can finish off that ironclad. Let's do that then. Definitely a good idea. Otherwise, it might get away, hide inside the city. We wouldn't want that, would we? No, definitely not. And I think it's time to upgrade. Yep. We can hide inside the city. And we got an ambassador who I can't really use for anything without upsetting Ram. And I don't want to upset him because he's our only ally left for this game. He's the only one with freedom. And I don't see any other city-states we can target. There's like Hong Kong all the way to the west. We could go there. Looks like somebody is attacking it. There's no way we'll get allied with that one though. That's way too much influence. Yeah, that guy is actually going to be useless right now. I can send him to Hong Kong, but that's not really going to achieve much. It'll just extend our friendship. I suppose that's worth something. So let's grab a circus, just in case we'll need one. We might need one if we capture both Mogadishu and Venice. We'll see about that. Okay, I think that's pretty much it right now. Next. Yeah, Austria is plotting against us. That's nothing new. We already knew about that. And we plundered another cargo ship. We got so much gold from plundering these trade routes. Is he building more? Yeah, he is actually building replacement cargo ships. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and do that. I certainly don't mind. I don't mind at all. Don't crash on me. Okay, I thought that's going to crash for a moment. Ram wants to attack Austria. Well, I would love him attacking Austria, but I'm not quite ready to go to war with Austria myself. Not even in 10 turns. Yeah, not really. I don't want to do that right now. No, sorry. Maybe another time. We can try to bribe him, but it's quite unlikely to work. Let's check it out. It's probably not going to work. Yeah, no. It very, very rarely works in Vox Populi. I don't think I was ever able to do that even once, ever. So, yeah. Might as well just consider it impossible. It's so rare. Anyway, pop the great musician. And let's see. I think Venice is running out of steam at this point. Now, how do we want to do this? First, let's kill this fella. He's going down and we can actually start doing damage to Mogadishu. But first, let's do some damage to that cruiser over there. Plus one range. Yeah, I will actually pick up plus one range because that will be nice. Yep, certainly. And now we can start doing damage to Mogadishu, unless we want to get rid of that Gatling gun. Our cruisers can probably handle that. First, let's handle the Ironclad, shall we? So, how do we do that? Maybe send this guy back? Unless we want to use yet another Admiral. Uh, that might be a little bit excessive. What's blockade? Steel gold equal to 100% of the damage inflicted on a city, capping a city's defense times 10, plus 25% defense against ranged attacks. Oh, that is actually a pretty nice multi-purpose upgrade. Plus 100% strength versus cities, damage from cities reduced by 50%. 
damage from all swords is reduced by 5, heals additional 10 HP per turn. Pillaging fully heals this unit. Some of these are really nice. I kind of like blockade. Maybe. And plus 25% versus ranged attacks is nice too. That's basically the same as cover. One level of cover. But then on top of that we get other benefits. So yeah, I think I'll grab that. It is nice. I was considering Vanguard. Or even Dauntless. But let's grab Blockade, that is pretty nice. Okay, now, how do we handle this? I am close enough with the cruisers. Let's move in. So, some of them can move, attack and then move back. I'll use those first. So, like this. And that guy can also still do it. Let's get the Ironclad out of here. That seems reasonable. Yeah, let's just get him out of here, it's fine. Then move in with the full health Ironclad. Attack with the cruiser. And attack with the last cruiser here. And then we can finish him off. We got Breacher on this guy. So that means the two adjacent units will take 10 damage. Including the actual land unit, which is nice. And then we can maybe still take out the cruiser in the back. We should be able to. Here. Down he goes. We are getting close. Our ironclad will be a little bit exposed, but... He should be fine. I mean, he has 119 health. So that will be enough. Back up slightly with the ironclad. We can actually move into our territory. Which might or might not be safe. It should be safe because if they move towards us, we'll take them out with our artillery. So that works for me. And let's start doing damage to Mogadishu. It shouldn't take too long to capture it. And I would definitely like to. Obviously. There's the cargo ship. So what's the best trade route? Not that one. I want some culture and science. So I guess this one. Sure, that will do. Anything else we can do? Yeah, we still got one more cruiser. But all he can do is attack the city. So I guess we'll attack the city. Or the unit. Let's actually attack the unit. We'll probably have to get rid of it anyway. Might as well just do it. No point using fleet repair on this turn. That would be a bit of a waste. Submarines to the front. But I don't want them to be right next to the city. Like this will be better. Okay. To keep them hidden. Best we can. There's the workboat. Okay, looks like that's it. Two turns to finish rocketry. Let's queue up some other techs. So, I'm thinking radar. To get some air units. We will definitely need those against Austria. And we will need combined arms as well. Yeah, we will definitely need combined arms. No doubt about that. Anything queued up in here? Oh yeah, Circus. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about Old Sarai. Because the Morgols could take that back quite easily. Not that it's a super important city, but I would still like to keep it if possible. Almost lost a cruiser, but we are still fine. This would be a good moment to use Fleet Reaper. First we'll use our artillery. He wants to give us silver. Yeah, sure. Why not? Not that we really need it, but always more Golden Age points. And there's the Golden Age. We should be able to buy a scientist pretty soon. Well, maybe not that soon, but we will get one eventually. So now, let's use artillery first, shall we? Where do you think you're going? I don't think so, buddy. He pillaged my improvement, that's just rude. That is very rude indeed. Well, I can't really finish him off. 
Unless I use artillery, but I'd rather use it against ironclads, you know? That will be a railroad. So, how much damage can we do here? Might want to move that general. Well, no, we got a general here. We can take it out, almost. Seriously, one health? There. We got it. And we got another great general, because why not? Now, what else? Obviously the submarines. Uh, let's attack and then move. I'll probably use Fleet Reaper, but... I don't know about that. I don't think we really need it right now. But let's make sure we keep the units safe. Come on. Seriously? This interface works a little bit weird. If there's something under that icon, then you can't hover over it. Which can be a little bit irritating. Anyway, let's use the submarines. Like that. Yeah, the next shot will take him out. Move away. As far away from the coast as possible. Because if we are two tiles away only, then a Gatling gun would be able to hit the cruiser. And in Vox Populi, I, I might actually be smart enough to do that. Take out that guy. Seriously now? Come on! I need that spot. What? How is he not down yet? That makes no sense. Oh, maybe the health bar isn't displaying properly if he has Dreadnought. That might be the case, because Dreadnought gives you more than 100 hit points. But I think this bar will only display 100. That would explain it, yeah. Well, anyway, we'll finish him off, no problem. Then we can pillage the trade route, I wouldn't mind that. And then what? Probably back up a little. I'll take Dreadnought. Yeah, let's back up a little, play it safe. There's no huge rush, it's fine. Do we still have any attacks? Yes, we do. Let's actually just attack the units. Like so. Yeah, the Gatling gun. Move away. And... We let him come to us, it's fine. Maybe keep the ironclad in the front. And submarine over here. Sounds good to me. Bring it on. Oh yeah, we got one more attack still. We can attack the Gatling gun, but then we might be a bit far away. Oh, hi. I found the cruiser. Good to know. Well, that was useful, actually. We got useful information there. Now I want to move the submarine in this direction. Okay, fine. We'll move it in this direction. Maybe move the cruisers away slightly. Yeah, that will do. That will do. Off you go. Okay, looks like we're fine. There. Anything else? Looks like that's it. We still need more upgrades. Might as well just pay for that. We got the money. Our income is still not amazing, but we made so much money from the trade routes. And Venice will just keep replacing them, apparently. At least to some extent. We made like 7,000 gold, at least. Just by pillaging the trade routes. It's amazing. Coral. I don't think we can get a decent price for that. Uh, well... Sort of. Six gold per turn? That's not terrible. Sure, why not? I'll take it. Trade route. That's probably going to be to Austria, but... Thing is, I don't want to send too many trade routes to Austria. I could send one to a city-state, that's not a terrible one. And that gives us rocketry. So there we go. Next. Crab for open borders? What kind of deal is that? Not a very good one. 
Well, let's do it like this. That sounds reasonable. Strategic monopoly on uranium. Oh yeah, we control over 25%, that's pretty funny. We control literally one single deposit. But hey, apparently that's over 25% right now. Well, thanks. Units gain plus 10% strength when attacking. Yeah, that is actually pretty nice. Plus 10% science in all on the city would also be nice. But we won't be getting that unless we just steal some uranium from someone. We also passed 1000 science per turn. So, circus is done. I'm thinking we should get some units. Let's get some bombers, shall we? I'm not going to wait for military academy right now. And do we switch to production? It won't make a huge difference unless I change specialists. We got a great scientist coming in here. Yeah, let's finish that then. In five turns. Sounds good. We could definitely use one. Oh, almost lost a cruiser. That was a little bit too close, perhaps. Maybe this would be a good moment to use. Fleet Leaper. How many admirals do we still have? Oh, we have plenty. Well, we got five. Which means we can still use it like eight times or nine times. We can use it eight times and still have one admiral left for the bonus. Still, I don't want to waste it if I don't have to. Because we still have the war with Austria coming up. That will be a harder one, no doubt. So let's play it safe. I'm just going to back up. Yeah, that's just a much safer thing to do. Our submarines can do the job. As well as the artillery. Let's use artillery first. They can take it out on their own. Then we can take out the cavalry. Sort of. Okay, hold on. We know there's a cruiser down here. Like that. I guess we'll take out the cavalry, that's fine. This choke point is a little bit irritating. If only I could move forward one tile with a machine gun, but alas, I cannot. I can reposition the artillery, but I like it having this entire bay in its range. Oh well, we can handle it. One more upgrade. Do we have any more Gatling guns? I don't think we do. No, we don't. We don't have that many land units in general, we could definitely use more. Speaking of which... Lisbon. We can get a bomber in two turns, we should definitely do that. And then we'll upgrade it once we get radar. But we could certainly use some bombers. That will be useful. Anyway. I think we can finish off that cruiser on the left. Or down here, rather. Yeah, pretty sure we can. We can. Down it goes, nice. And then we'll focus on Mogadishu, I suppose. Because I still want that city, obviously. Okay, then. Kill his defenders first. You need to move back into our territory. And let's move away slightly. I think that's all the crossers used already. Yep. So you guys will fortify until healed. I really hope Austria or the Mongols will not decide to join this war. But we'll see. Anyway, next tenet. What do we want? Good question. We don't need unit supply. And I won't be buying too many units for gold. Specialists consume two food less than normal. I think I'll grab that one. Although tourism is kind of tempting. Obviously I won't catch Austria, but I would like to close the gap at least a little bit. Plus to tourism from great works, museums, broadcast towers, opera houses and amphitheaters gain plus two golden age points and culture. So plus two tourism from great works. How many do we have? Well, we do have some. 
Seriously, I optimized and I lost one point. Here, that's better. I think I'm going to wait with that one. Civil society will be nice. Because we already have a reduction for specialists. Now they will consume like 1 or 1 1.5. Yeah, let's grab that one. That will make our cities grow. Still. I might even go through every single city and see how many specialists I can work while still growing the cities at a reasonable pace. So let's take our capital, for example. Okay, that actually increased into five turns. Did it increase our production? 336. It did slightly. Is it worth it? Might not be worth it in that case, actually. Okay, if I unassign that one, we will lose some production. So that was actually optimal right now for production. Okay, sounds good. I think I'll just go through all the cities between the episodes. It can take a while to check every single specialist and such. Let's focus on Venice. Foreign great diplomat. I don't really care about that. Okay, we actually lost a submarine. Alright then. That's fine. That's like the first ship we lost in a really long time. Mostly thanks to our admirals. So. Yeah, Austria is plotting against us. That's not really surprising, is it? Plus one range. I will take plus one range. And then we might want to back up with our artillery slightly. Let's take out the Ironclad first. Down it goes. And I'll move artillery to the back and move machine gun to the front. Here, that will make machine gun way more useful. Dreadnought free. And I will take plus one range. It will be useful, especially against naval units. So, back to Mogadishu. And move back into our territory. Should be safe over here. And we'll repair. Where can the trade out go? Here, to Ram. Anything else down here? Just that Gatling gun. Might as well hit it. But then we'll hit... Oh, hold on. One more Ironclad. And let's use the submarine first. Yeah, we got more. And no wonder I lost the other submarine. We can take out this guy. And then maybe back up slightly. I might actually use Repair Fleet. But not right now. I can't do more damage to that guy, but I would have to move a little bit too close. I don't want to move that close if I don't have to. I can move Ironclad to the front. It is damaged, but it has 77 hit points. It should be fine. I just don't want his Ironclad attacking my cruiser. That's it. Yeah, let's move the Ironclad to the front. And we'll focus a bit more on Mogadishu. I would like to take it eventually. <laughs> Might still take a while. Because Venice is just sending more and more units. But hey, they are also replacing cargo ships. I'm fine with that. So, railroad. Yep, just to connect it to our existing network. Now, I don't really want to move my ironclad from the west side. Because it needs to repair. And if he moves to attack the ironclad, our artillery will make short work of him. So that's the general idea. We got an artist, or other musician. So, in two turns we'll get our first bomber. That will definitely help. We should be able to use him against naval units as well. Pop the diplomat. We got him for free. This has been quite a fun war, I have to say. And finally Portugal got a chance to shine with all the great admirals. He wants peace treaty. Oh, he wants to give us, like, all of his gold. Maybe not all of it, but a lot of it. Can we take a city from him? Can we demand capitulation? No. It's not even an option. I can't even click it. Okay, fine, whatever. 
Can we demand the city from him? If we wait a little bit longer, we might be able to, you know? I don't think I want to peace out right now. I really see no reason to do that. Although the gold is tempting, I'm not gonna lie. However, I can't get more than 9,999. Because you can't use more than four digits here. <laughs> I would have to make up with gold per turn. That would be a lot of gold. But, I mean, we have an advantage. There's really no reason to piss out right now. Literally, no reason. We can get even more war score. And let's just stay at war. I would like to at least take Mogadishu, if not Venice itself. Taking Venice itself would be so good against Austria. And he is clearly running out of steam. One turn for an ironclad. Yeah, that does explain why he keeps throwing units at us. He has 431 production, ironclad requires 1000 hammers. So he can get an ironclad in like three turns. Two turns with some production overflow. Right, we got a promotion here. Broadside, that will be useful against cities. And that's what we need it for. Right, first we need to take out the ironclad. Let's do that. Maybe move ours to safety. It needs to repair. Take this guy out. And move the cruiser, preferably. Yeah, these guys are tough. It's pretty annoying how tough they can be. Alright, let's actually do some damage to Mogadishu, shall we? I would really like to do that by now. We've been at war long enough. Time to actually get something out of it. No, I don't want to negotiate with you. I just don't want to be too close to more of his units. So we'll stay on this side. That bomber will help quite a bit. Looking forward to getting him. Our rifleman might need a little bit of help. But that's fine. Help is here. That should be enough. And it is. Finish off the cavalry. And now I need to be just slightly closer with that other artillery. It has plus one range, which means we can be where the rifleman is. We'll just do that. I could also swap with the other rifleman. It should be safe to embark. Maybe slightly further away from the city itself. And our artillery will be able to attack from here, because it has plus one range. Sounds good. So, we are in a pretty good position right now. He will still continue to throw units at us, but... We should be able to take Mogadishu. I don't think it will take too long. Braga. 11 turns for a triplane. That's a bit too much. Let's grab a quick circus. If we end up taking Venice, we might actually need extra happiness. So, sounds good to me. Can we still attack with anything else? No. Let's check production. That's the circus. We still need an office. Let's grab that. And we got a castle in Old Sarai. We still need a lot of buildings here, but we'll be focused on defense. So a forge wouldn't be too bad. Do we have barracks? No, we don't. Let's grab barracks then. And we need some kind of ranged unit as soon as possible. I might even buy one. Once I get an armory or something like that. I guess we'll see. Yeah, here's a cruiser and an ironclad. He's still sending more, but now we can attack him with our artillery. That is quite a few ironclads, holy crap. He didn't get them all in one turn, because you can't buy and produce more than one unit per turn. You can produce one and buy one, that would be two units in one turn from one city. But he can't get four ironclads from one city in one turn. That is simply not doable. As in, the game doesn't let you do that. Anyway, here's our bomber. So I have to take siege first, so that's what I'll do. And then probably plus two operational range. Because bombers have really poor range. I can still attack an ironclad thanks to that plus two range right now. 
However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.